They take themselves pretty seriously at the Magic Circle, and this election for the presidency has caused scenes of rivalry never before witnessed. It all got crazy when the incumbent president, David Berglas, having said he was stepping down, decided to change his mind. The day before nominations were due to close, his vice president, Michael Bailey, threw down the challenge, the first time in the Magic Circle's history. Now this secret society's got a battle on its hands, and we could see the emergence of two magic semicircles. If people, enough people want you, and, and thought that I was doing the right thing and leading them in the right way, that um, I was flattered, but um, I was persuaded to. They melt, so you have to watch it very carefully because they do melt one through the other, and I do this every morning before breakfast. Michael Bailey, the challenger, says it's time for a change, that the magic circle has got to move into these money-driven times with a commercial strategy. You're stunned. What we've got to do is to move into a new era, into this very exciting era of moving towards the millennium. Now, as I say, with this wonderful living museum of magic around us, and uh, ask the public to come and see us. Now, that means you've got a product in effect to sell, and our product is, of course, the Magic Circle. It's a pretty well-known product. It's a very good brand to sell. This is what it's all about, the Magic Circle's new £1.8 million HQ, built partly with money from the Arts Council and the National Lottery. It houses a museum of magic, a theatre and lecture facilities. But it's the commercial potential that Michael Bailey wants to harness, and his ideas are dividing the circle. We've rather polarised into two camps. The Michael camp um, probably think that as we've got ourselves into a sort of commercial situation where we do need money to run to pay the overheads and to pay off the deficit, that Michael therefore would be the best person to lead us. On the other hand, a lot of members feel that the Magic Circle is a club for magicians and that it should be um, doing tricks and not worrying too much about the commercial world. The election boils down to whether an old institution can adapt to a modern world where money counts. <laughs>